powerful Cyclone Freddy stalls on the Mozambique coast. Cyclone Freddy, one of the longest lasting tropical cyclones on record, is still not giving up the ghost and is a strong category 2 paralleling the coast of Mozambique right now at just a stone's throw from the significant city of Kelimane. With winds of 110 miles per hour sustained, that's 175 kilometers per hour, and a pressure of 962 millibars, it's still moving northwestwards but only at 2 miles per hour and from satellite indications to be honest it looks like it's more moving westwards now and more towards uh, the southwest eventually along that coastline will it actually make landfall big question the eye is just offshore at 5 p.m central african time this march 11th it was located here 18 degrees south 37.3 degrees east and the wind field extends up to 120 miles southeastwards it is 38 kilometers from Kelimane, 123 from Pibane, 321 from Beira, 340 from Blantyre in Malawi, and 381 from Nampula further north along the coast of Mozambique. A category two right now, just along the coastline and just short of category three status, this storm will cause substantial wind damage, but the flooding is the main concern with catastrophic amounts likely. And that indeed is the primary hazard, flash flooding, torrential rain in the area expected with severe flooding impacts likely along with strong winds of over 100 miles per hour. Widespread flooding over longer periods of time are expected across the whole of northern Mozambique and southern Malawi. Near the landfall zone we are expecting in excess of 20 inches further rainfall on top of what's already occurred so far yielding totals of at least 30 inches likely. Over the rest of the weekend you can see this slow movement southwestwards and as we enter Monday it's only just starting to leave the coast back towards the southeast over the Mozambique Channel once again. What's that the fourth time? And then continuing southwards through the end of the week uh, slowly but surely steering away from land areas hopefully although this is still a very low confidence forecast. JTWC have something completely different in mind. They forecast the storm will move further inland and then start to turn around but never make it offshore again and actually die out inland. The current estimates for wind speed are pretty well in line at 110 miles per hour. All the agencies are going with that. Satellite estimates are just a little bit either side there with the NOAA ADT at the highest there at 117. And this is the Matteo France forecast cone as well and you can see here that it is expecting the storm to be very weak once it emerges off the coast once again of Mozambique. So you could say that what we've thrown up here is on our forecast is the worst case scenario from the storm. Matteo France not quite going with that just yet. The GFS it depicts the storm hovering along the coastline there and starting to move back out towards the southeast, re-strengthening actually once it's parallel with Madagascar and then weakening once again there and then strengthening and then really running it along the uh, peripheries there as it heads on towards the southeast but the key point from this GFS model run is that it stays active the whole time which will completely obliterate the longevity records that it's already starting to beat. Well taking a look at the other parameters let's look at the estimate uh, the sort of uh, reflectivity simulation showing that the storm will lose its core quite a lot there particularly on the northern side and will struggle to regain it back as it continues southwards there and that's pretty much what we would expect but at least in the initial parts there over the next day or two the northern side will contain a lot of moisture and precipitation uh, and strong winds in that as well which will cause debilitating conditions along the coast Let's take a look also at the expected rainfall amounts then in a moment. Here it is and this is quite key showing the areas that will be expecting the most rainfall 
all along that coastal region, either side of the Storm's Eye where it's currently located right now. You see some areas off the coast there expecting over 30 inches still, but along the coast a little bit less, but still extremely significant. Don't forget this is on top of what's already occurred, potentially 24 inches of further rainfall in the Kelimani area. Uh, that is a really high amount, 600 millimeters and significant amounts elsewhere, 3.6 inches there in Beira, and look along Lake Malawi, extremely high amounts of rain there as well, up to 8 inches, 200 millimeters, and a small spot there in Zambia, up to 11 inches, possibly not all to do with the storm, but still could be a big flooding event. Sea surface temperatures show that there is still plenty of energy for this storm to uh, slurp up, with temperatures currently around 27 degrees Celsius and it'll rise again a little bit as the storm moves back out over the Mozambique Channel although if it stays closer to the coast of Africa the temperatures will be a little bit lower 26 to 27 but the storm won't really have any issues till it gets down at least towards 30 degrees south there so it has plenty of time um, still to regain its strength uh, these are the satellite pictures from the Force 13 satellite page which you can find on our website now force13.com slash satellite and you can see the storm has been looking pretty decent with that eye structure um, the eye not completely uh, deep and symmetrical but still looking pretty decent and certainly calling for some people to suggest this is a category 3 uh, but there it is right now certainly would have a lot more strength if it had more water to travel over before reaching the land area. It's stalling of course, the convection is getting a little bit weaker in those latest frames and I imagine that trend will continue as it will start to upwell the waters and uh, lose its energy reserves that are underneath it. And here's some quick visible images from the wide shot there from Ram Slider. It should be animated but it doesn't work properly. I'm sure you're quite aware of that. Uh, but this is the current situation on Freddy. We've still got a way to go yet. <laughs> 